The White House 2026 budget drops NASA's funding to $18.8 billion, a 24% decrease, which, after adjusting for inflation, would be the lowest since 1961, despite the fact we're supposedly living in a new space age. What? But it's even worse than this, because when you break it down, science funding is particularly low, a 47% cut. The rumors of this first leaked in April, when head of the Planetary Society, Casey Dreyer, said that this would represent an extinction-level event for space science. But it gets even worse, because amongst even the sciences, astrophysics gets an especially raw deal, a 67% cut, yes, a threefold reduction. The proposal for the NASA science budget is in fact cataclysmic for US leadership in science. What this means is that some 35 existing and planned missions are now defunded, such as no Venus missions at all, and there's another 14 missions on life support too. On top of that, the White House has dissolved NASA's chief scientist role and has no administrator pick in sight after pulling its nominee, Jared Isaacman. It's hard to imagine a worse time for NASA science. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. But in the US, NASA is just one way in which astrophysics is funded, the other big player being the National Science Foundation, NSF. But again here, the news is truly awful. Fuck. The White House requests a 57% cut to the NSF, but for astrophysics, it's again even worse. MPS, the Mathematical Physical Sciences Division, which includes astrophysics, has a 67% cut. These two agencies dominate astronomy funding, and thus we are looking at three times less astrophysics going forward. Three times less planets, black holes, biomarkers, cosmology, and more. Three times less wonder. That would be um, sort of, uh, I would say, almost extinction level for a lot of the space science that we pursue. Look, in 2018, NASA represented less than half a percent of the federal budget, whereas a poll that same year found that Americans typically thought it was more than 12 times higher than this, making NASA insanely cost efficient. In fact, every dollar we give to NASA leads to three dollars back to the US economy. And in a 2023 Pew survey, 69% of Americans believe it is essential for the US to be a leader in space exploration. If you agree, it's not too late. The bill hasn't passed the Senate yet, so write and call your senators immediately if you want to save the universe. And maybe it's true, maybe fighting's useless. Perhaps it's too late. But I'll tell you this. If I could do it again, I'd wake up early and be fighting from the start.